it becomes thicker, it becomes more fragile, and therefore it becomes more um, vulnerable to injury. Um, and when you have sudden overloads during injury, then you have potential for injury. A couple of other important considerations. Um, when we have pre, the prepubescent growth spurt, um, this is also associated with a transient deficit in bone mineralization. So we get a transient period of osteopenia. Um, and this is really quite important. Um, you should not be thinking that this is like adult um, osteopenia, don't we? That don't worry, um, these injuries are self limiting. As soon as you reach uh, skeletal maturity, they're going to go away, and um, there's no problem uh, with this injury. Just, just basically sit it out and it'll all be fine. This is not necessarily the case, and I want to underline this with a couple of uh, injuries because um, the new data is telling us that this is probably not actually what goes on. They're site, age, and gender specific, and when you have a look at them, they can be anywhere from upper body right down to... Um, uh, to, to things like um, uh, the uh, the um, the head of the second metatarsal, but one of the important things to note here is that the vast majority of them are in the the lower limb. So there's a lot down here. Um, if we have a look at Osgood Schlatter's disease, here's a very uh, typical picture of Osgood Schlatter's disease. You can see the difference between the two knees. We've got some um, hypertrophy hypertrophy of the tibial tuberosity here as a result of the traction nature of osgood Slater's disease in this individual. Um, and that's a pretty typical um, uh, physical finding of this disease. The diagnosis is clinical, so you don't need to uh, irradiate these people. You don't need to do advanced um, investigation of these people.